Hey guys, I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I have been having office hours with a bunch of you and I've been seeing that a lot of you have similar questions. So I figured I would just make a quick video checking in with you and addressing some of those concerns that you have. Um, so first, I just wanna make a note that your topic cannot change once you submit your midterm. Um, this means that if you're working with a topic now and you're not in love with it, you wish that it could be tweaked, you wish it could be slightly changed, maybe altogether changed, that is normal and it is okay. Um, so once you submit your midterm, you are stuck with that topic. But beforehand, if you're still tweaking things and kind of readjusting a couple of your ideas, it's absolutely normal and okay if you change your ideas. Um, so just a few other things, and I'm just looking at my notes. A lot of people were asking me about the problem section, and I just wanted to explain a couple of things regarding how you can go about tackling it. Um, so a couple of things just to start. Your problem section should be focused on a smaller, more local sized community. Um, so appropriate communities, I'm just going to give you some examples. These are not communities that you have to choose. Might be things like Rutgers, um, New Brunswick High School, um, Lambertville Firehouse. These are all things that are small regarding their population size. Um, I have a lot of people who are choosing populations that are way too big and they don't quite make sense. So things that you should avoid regarding population would be saying your population is all of New Jersey. You should never ever do that, it's too big. Even saying things like all of Mercer County, still too big. Saying all of America, way, way too big. Um, I wanna focus on the Great Barrier Reef, that's still too big. You wanna make sure that it's narrowed and small and doable. So that's something to be mindful of. I'm hoping that that helps with your population. I'm just going to put these in red because they are a no-no. All right, great. Going on, um, the way in which you structure your problem section can be really helpful. So I always tell students if you wanted to give the big picture first, and that would kind of be starting in a broad way, this is fine because you can always extrapolate later. So let me just give you an example of what I mean here. Um, if you are talking about, let's just say your topic is, and I'm just giving you a very quick example, um, depression due to technology in teens at New Brunswick High School, whatever. Let's just say that's what you are dealing with. Um, what you might end up doing is you might start by talking about how technology causes depression. You might offer stats for the US. So that's really big, right? But then what you would do is you would narrow down to your population of focus. And then you would spend time talking about the age group you've chosen, which are high school students, right? Um, as well as the environment in which they live. So here you have New Brunswick. We're talking about um, like what it's like to be in a high school using technology for education, etc. So hopefully that's helpful. It's absolutely fine if you wanted to start big and talk about um, you know, how technology does cause depression. If there are studies that link depression to technology, that's a fine place to start as long as you narrow down to your population of focus. So I'm hoping that that's helpful as well. Um, okay, just a couple of other things that I wanted to go over. I just wanted to go over some examples of topics that really could work well. Um, so I'm just going to do examples of topics that are narrowed enough because I know a lot of people were getting feedback saying things like this sort of works but you need to narrow your scope or make it more specific so 
Here's a couple of examples of proposals that were done in the past that really, really worked. Um, a student worked on the population of New Brunswick firefighters and his actual problem, and I'm just gonna move this down so we can see it easier. So his actual problem was the fact that firefighters are more prone to heart disease and illnesses related to that while on the job. Um, so what he ended up doing was finding a lot of research about how um, a lot of, sorry, prone issues. One second, my friends. There we go. Um, what he ended up doing was finding a lot of research that showed that firefighters were more prone to this illness, um, this disorder, this disease. And he ended up finding like a lot of general statistics that talked about why firefighters face this. And then what he ended up doing was just narrowing his scope all the way down to just the firefighters who are a member of the New Brunswick Firehouse. Um, so you can see how his population went from talking about the whole country, how this is a really big issue. And then he ended up focusing it on about nine firefighters, and that was it. Um, so you can see how that's a lot smaller. He's still taking a big issue. He can use data from that big issue, but then he narrows it to just those nine. Um, going off of this, his solution, also known as his paradigm, his research, uh, ended up going over a lot of different things. He ended up integrating a physical trainer. Um, he ended up including a gym in the fire fi firehouse, um, and he also included a nutritionist to help the firefighters meet their goals and sort of track their goals. So I'll just put meet and track. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. That's something that is a nationwide problem, but if you narrow it down to a very small, reasonable population, that's something that could be helpful. I will give you one more example. I had a student choose food insecurity within the population of West Trenton, New Jersey. Um, and this was really one of my favorite proposals. He ended up choosing a very small population. He didn't even try to focus it on all of Trenton. He chose a small pocket of Trenton, New Jersey. And what he ended up doing was he started by defining food insecurity. He went over what a food desert was. Um, and he talked about how West Trenton meets these requirements. So a couple of things that he ended up including in his research were how there were not enough food stores that were walking distance. Um, he talked about how there were not enough farmers markets. He also talked about how um, poor nutrition leads to a lot of medical issues and issues amongst students. He focused a lot of his population on the student population in West Trenton and how it was impacting their academics. Great. All right, so um, a couple of things that he ended up doing were just sort of looking at ways that he could fix it and some of his solutions, remember these are other models of success that he's looked up, his paradigm section and pieces of theory, and he ended up thinking, I want to include farmer's markets. I want to include um, some aspect where I'm spreading awareness about this issue and educating the kids about these issues. Um, and a lot of it was volunteer work. So he ended up creating a committee at Rutgers that went to West Trenton to help and volunteer. He also collaborated with soup kitchens 
in the area and things like that. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Um, but you can see how both of these examples, they're taking an issue that's really, really big, and it is a nationwide issue. If we look at food insecurity across America, it's something that is long lasting and very, very intense. Um, so hopefully this is helpful just as an example of how to narrow that. The last thing I really wanna talk about, and it's very brief, is just that your budget should not exceed a million dollars, okay? Um, the topics that you're working with are so small, they really just should not go beyond a million dollars. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Uh, please reach out if you need anything. We are going to be having office hours next week. Uh, they will be synchronous office hours, so I'm hoping people can come where I can answer any questions that you have about current assignments or even your topic specifically.